Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I know most of you elite superhumans watching this can code your own website. But let's say that planning a website is a lot like planning a trip to a water park. This is the equivalent to making it yourself. Get her done, y'all! But if you let Squarespace take care of it for you, you could have something like this. With those beautiful website template water slides and award-winning tech support wave pools. If you don't believe me, you can wait on into a free trial over at squarespace.com. When you're ready to make a splash, swim on over to Squarespace Squarespace.com slash Tinkernut to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace, for your support. Over the last few weeks, I've been experimenting with different ways to make a backup camera. I ended up using a Raspberry Pi for my setup, but for those of you that don't have a Raspberry Pi, I wanted to see if I could make a backup camera with old gadgets that you may have laying around your house. Because it's kind of cool to give old discarded waste a second chance. I'm not just talking about me. It's essentially two basic elements, a camera that fastens somewhere to the back of your car and some type of screen to view the camera footage on. And another goal of mine is to limit the amount of changes that I make to the car itself. So if you've always wanted an ugly looking ghetto rigged backup camera, you've come to the right place. Before getting started, I should do a little disclaimer. Whoa, geez. What we're making here is an untested, unverified, and potentially unsafe homemade contraption. This is intended for fun and education and not necessarily practical use. Although, depending on the amount of time and parts that you put into it, it could very well be a practical substitution. Just don't take what I say here as gospel, attach it to your car, and then accidentally use it to back over an evil clown and blame me for it. All right, end disclaimer. Let's start with the camera. So I have here a couple different options for capturing live video. Obviously the smaller the better, so I'm gonna go with this little USB camera. And as an added benefit, it doesn't require a separate power source. For viewing displays, I have a few old cell phones and an actual mini display. But since most people will probably have old cell phones laying around, I'm gonna go with that. So how can we connect the USB webcam to the smartphone? Believe it or not, it's actually pretty simple. The smartphone is specifically an Android device and it has something called USB OTG, which is something almost every Android device that's been made in the last six years has. So with USB OTG, all you need is a little adapter like this and then you can plug in the USB camera itself. And then there's a free app called USB Camera in the App Store that you can download to test it out. And firing it up, amazingly, we can view the webcam video. And this should be a perfect solution for a basic setup. Now if you have an iPhone instead of Android, I'm not exactly sure how you can connect a USB webcam to that. So if any of you have any ideas or have done it before, please let me know in the comments below. So to attach the webcam to the car, I actually hot glued some rare earth magnets to the bottom of it and then stuck it to the back of the car. To get the cable to reach the phone on the dashboard, I got this 10 foot USB extension cable. And after making some adjustments to the camera, I tested it out and it worked like a charm. And this shows how close I was able to get to the object without hitting it using just the camera. Now obviously this isn't intended to be permanent because it's not weatherproof and it's only attached by magnet. But if you need a quick backup camera solution, this should work in a pinch and it'll probably fit in your glove box. That was actually a lot easier than I thought, and it worked pretty well. So just out of curiosity, I wanted to see what it would take to use this camcorder as a backup camera. So this camcorder has an AV video output, so to be able to connect this to the USB OTG adapter, I'm also going to need a USB capture card as well. This particular one I'm using is a super cheap brand that I found on Amazon. So all I have to do is connect the video output of the camcorder to the capture card and then launch that USB camera app again. And amazingly, I can see a live feed from the camcorder. Again, I stuck it to the back of the car using magnets and then ran a long composite cable to the dashboard and voila! Here you have possibly the worst backup camera ever, but it can be done. 
Again, this was a very promising result, but let me reiterate, please don't use these in real world situations. If what you need is a safe, trusted backup camera, please go with a more commercial solution. So if you had an old camcorder, a webcam, and cell phone laying around, how would you upcycle them? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas, you can submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com ideas. You can click here to watch more videos like this, and if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please feel free to donate at patreon.com slash tinkernut. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to youtube.com slash tinkernut.